Fuck. Oh, come on, read it loudly. <laughs> oh, Veterans Day, people visit veterans in hospitals, march in parades, and fly flags outside their homes. Some people visit cemeteries and put flowers and flags on veterans' graves. On Veterans Day, people visit veterans in hospitals, march in parades, and fly flags outside their homes. Some people visit cemeteries and put flowers and flags on veterans' graves. Okay. At 11 o'clock tomorrow, November 11th, many people will stay quiet for two minutes to remember those people who died to protect our country. The President of the United States will place a wreath on the Tomb of the Unknowns in Adrian Natural Cemetery. At o'clock tomorrow, wow. November 11th, many people will stay quiet for two minutes to remember those people who died to protect our country. The, pre the President of the United States will place a wreath on the Tomb of the Unknowns in Adrington Natural Cemetery. Our Unknowns in Aaron Adrington Natural Cemetery. Not bad. To place a roof on the tomb of the own Unknowns in ah! Unknowns in Adrington Natural Cemetery. Not bad. Reef on the tomb of the Unknowns in Adrington Natural Cemetery. Francis Scott Key. Recognize veterans. 
Veterans are men and women who were in the armed forces, the Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines, or Coast Guard. On Veterans Day, Americans show that they are thankful for these men and women. Veterans Day is a gift for people who fought in wars. We also remember the people who kept our country safe in times of peace. On Veterans Day, people visit veterans in hospitals, march in parades, and fly flags outside their homes. Some people visit cemeteries and put flowers and flags on veterans' graves. At 11 o'clock tomorrow, November 11th, many people will stay quiet for two minutes to remember those people who died to protect our country. The President of the United States will place a wreath on the Tomb of the Unknowns in Arlington National Cemetery. Do you know a veteran? You should all answer yes. Our very own Mr. Castro is a veteran. He was kind enough to let us interview him for this presentation. Here's what he had to say. Why are you concentrating a veteran? I was in the Marines for four years. I went to war in Iraq. Why did you join? I wanted to see the world and become my own independent man. What kind of thing did you do or what was your rank? I learned people skill, communication skills, critical thinking skills, survival skills, learning how to use weapons, training for war and fitness. While I was a there Marine, my rank was E4. Why did you leave the Marine? After war, I wanted to go to college and get a degree so that I could get a good job and teach people. What does it mean to you to be a veteran of the United States of America? It makes me proud and gives me honor to serve my country and its people. Okay, that was an actual interview with Mr. Castro, who's not working today. I mean, he's not at our school today. So now we're going to conclude our presentation with another song that you should all sing along with, if you know. It's called America the Beautiful. America the Beautiful by Katherine Lee Bates and Samuel A. Ward.